a blueprint for regenerative living. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 475. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our May 1st, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is a blueprint for regenerative living. And that is what we're creating. We are creating a blueprint for regenerative living, a blueprint for sustainable living, a blueprint for open source living, a blueprint for holistic living. But today I want to talk about it from the perspective of a blueprint for regenerative living. And regenerative not just for the planet, which is the sustainability aspect. So we're creating all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of sustainable and what we call highest good living. And so we've broken that up into two different categories. There's the physical foundations and the emotional foundations. And the physical foundations could be defined as regenerative for the planet because they're food, which is grown without herbicides, pesticides, or fungicides, you know, renew renewable energy, sustainable energy infrastructure, microgrids, that kind of stuff, sustainable housing infrastructure. And that includes sustainable materials that aren't toxic. They're more durable housing that will last for, you know, in the case of like earth bag construction, it lasts for hundreds of years, as opposed to typical stick constructions and traditional buildings that might only last for a hundred years or even less, you know. And so those physical foundations are regenerative for the planet. But our blueprint for regenerative living also includes the emotional foundations of sustainability. And so those that we've identified as most important to focus on first are what we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, and true earth stewardship. And so we're putting all that together as the complete model, taking the physical foundations, which are regenerative for the planet, and the emotional foundations that are regenerative for the human being and for the soul, and putting it together to demonstrate a way of living that most people will consider to be vastly superior to the way that they're living right now. And we're open sourcing and free sharing that this as a blueprint that other people can follow as well. And so taking all these aspects, including the fulfilled living, like the, the classes and things that we're developing for one community and that we will be sharing in one community and the residents of one community where we will be sharing our gifts, whatever it is that makes us most passionate, whatever brings us most joy in life, that we would love to have accountability to participate in that even more frequently, and that we would like to invite our friends and family to participate with us, that's the fulfilled living aspect that we will be open sourcing and free sharing. And it'll be different for every person. But imagine 50 people where each person is like, hey, once a week, I'm going to put on a one hour class or twice a week, I'm going to put on a one or a two hour class. And if you're into what I'm into, and you want to come and join my reading club or have my uh, participate in my game night or participate in movie night or participate in nature walk or come to our soccer game or our baseball game or our football game or our basketball game or our volleyball game or go bicycle riding with us or go mountain biking riding with us or go hiking with us. You get the idea. Like whatever it is that you enjoy doing, sharing that gift is an open source fulfilled living aspect of the community and enriching that community with everybody's ideas of that has the potential to create an environment that is thriving with social and recreational activities and just fun things to do. And that isn't possible as just somebody living in the everyone for themselves paradigm. I mean, I guess you could pay for that. You know, like in a city like Los Angeles, most of those things you could find, but if you wanted to find a soccer game tomorrow, it's not even something that you could go pay to do. you got to get people together. But if you in a community want to do a soccer game, like you could gather people together and make that happen tomorrow, no problem. Now imagine if somebody's like, hey, every Thursday I'm playing soccer and people are invited. We have a game. Come jump in. If you like some great exercise with people that are fun to be around, we're playing soccer. Or we're doing a painting class, or we're doing a debate class, or we're talking about the news items of the day and debating those, for instance, or whatever it may be. So one community as a blueprint for regenerative living is designed to take those physical foundations 
and radical sustainability and use them to reduce the cost of living, reduce all the expenses associated with living, combine those with the emotional foundation of sustain sustainability to provide a more fun and enjoyable experience of living and put that all together as a completely regenerative model for the planet and for the person. And to create that and demonstrate that as something that gives more than it takes in all aspects of what it does. So we talk about highest good approaches to living. It's highest good approaches to the creation process, the living process, the food, the energy, the housing, highest good approaches to socialization and recre recreation, highest good for me and the individual level, highest good for my community, highest good for my region and my local community as well, highest good for our, our nations and our countries, and highest good for the entire human organism working together to create a world that works for everyone. A blueprint for regenerative living that touches on every aspect of the human experience. And so our goal is to make this self-replicating, to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own and we could create teacher demonstrations, a global cooperative, a global collaborative of teacher demonstration hubs, regenerative living teacher demonstration hubs all around the world, working together, creating more blueprints, more tools, more resources, more do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of sustainability so that people have more and more choices. A solution model, the teacher demonstration hub, is a solution model designed to create additional solution creating models, like a 3D printer that can print itself. But we're 3D printing, well, human printing communities, eco-communities, teacher demonstration hubs, communities, villages, and cities designed to teach other people how to do the same thing and to take the resources where they're needed most around the world and to teach those folks how to do this as well, to spread permaculture around the world, to spread sustainable food, to spread sustainable housing, and to open source and free share everything that we're doing. So if people don't want the complete community model, maybe somebody just wants to build a house that doesn't have toxins built into the house that they're living in every single day. Maybe somebody just wants to grow some food that they've never had before or that they can't get in the grocery store because it doesn't have enough shelf life. Maybe somebody just wants food that's fresh, that hasn't been sitting and gassed to ripen it and then put on the shelf. Maybe somebody just wants higher nutrition, higher quality food that's really, really fresh and locally grown. You know, Maybe somebody just wants a better education for their children or to be able to be hands-on and more involved in the education process. Maybe somebody would like to implement a resource-based economy and likes the idea of like a tool library where rather than every single person owning a drill, you just go and have access to a drill or a vacuum cleaner or an ATV or a jet ski whenever you want one. And so through combining our resources, we can have that and create a more luxurious lifestyle that has more of the things that we want because the resource-based economy means that we all pool our resources and we can share the things that we don't need access to every single moment of the day and just know that we always have access when we want it. And then we're going to have higher quality stuff that's going to last longer that can be replaced whenever it's broken because the complete community resources are invested in that, which means that if there's 50 of us, we get a 49 person discount on that thing that I might want to use once a month. You see the idea? So the concept here is that the everyone for themselves paradigm is ridiculously inefficient. And through working together, we can create environments that meet our needs far better than the way that most people are living right now. And we can open source and free share this as a model, a blueprint for regenerative living that anybody could apply that wants to. And we can demonstrate it's easy enough, affordable enough, and show how attractive living like this is such that it will spread on its own and create more and more options for us and everybody else to participate in and a self-replicating model that could transform life on this planet for everybody. That's what we're up to. So if you like this kind of thing, if you think this is a cool idea, if the idea of living and creating for the highest good of all life on this planet is something that you'd like to hear about every single week, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. Ring that bell. Get the notice. And we, I will say what I say every single week a different way because this is an idea whose time has come. And if not us, then who? If not now, when? We're creating this because we want to live this way. We want anybody else who wants to live this way to be able to do that. And since we're doing all the work for ourselves, we're doing it open source so that other people don't have to do it again. And we're taking the time and energy to open source and free share everything that we're creating so there's a clear path to replicating the food, the energy, the housing, education, economics, all of it 
so we can get from where we are to where we know is possible and we can bring anybody along who wants to participate with us. This is what we're up to. And if you want to see exactly what it is that our team has done for the last week, visit our written blog that has the same title as this video. Click the link in the, in the YouTube description and you can check it out. If you'd like to see all the open source tools and resources and plans and everything that we've created, visit our website. And of course, if you'd like to get involved, if you'd like to contribute, if you'd like to volunteer, if you'd like to donate, anything you'd like to do, we're a 100% unpaid, all volunteer, nonprofit, non-governmental organization. And so 100% of everything that we do, our donations and everything uh, contributes to, uh, or sorry, 100% of your donations and everything contribute to our goals. None of it goes to a paycheck for me or anybody else. And so if you'd like to participate in any way, financially or otherwise, uh, visit our helping page and see all the different ways to do that. And so with that said, um, stick around for another couple minutes if you'd like to see bullet points on the major components of our project. And know that week after week, day after day, we will, of course, or rather, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, we will, of course, keep on keeping on until we build this thing and it's a place that you can come and visit or be a part of. This is what we're creating. Thanks for watching. Until next week. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.